Hello there friends, Tommy's from Doom is here and in this video I'm going to show you the new feature Engine DJ introduced in their Engine DJ software solution. You might already heard uh, about this feature uh, which is called as Engine Remote Library. This feature introduced in 3.0 and uh, well, let's see what is uh, this about. Uh, it says that uh, this uh, new engine remote library is, is uh, giving you the ability to access the entire engine DJ desktop music collection right from your device, which is using the engine DJ software over the Wi Fi or by your network. So it says that if you connecting to your laptop and or your desktop computer with wired or wireless connection and you are running the engine dj desktop software you can access uh, to entire library that you have on your laptop from your standalone device so it's it's not uh, only uh, related to Denon dj hardware um, because uh, the same software is running on Numark, Mixstream and uh, Mixstream Plus. So you can use them from there as well. So in the next minutes I will show you uh, some interesting features of this. What you can do with this and what you can't. So let's check it out. So I'm just uh, deployed, installed the Engine DJ software on my desktop computer and just making a new collection, adding some mp3 files to it and let's see how this is really working. Because this is brand new uh, database, this is uh, not something I used in my uh, live database. So let's see. So I'm gonna add some new collection or music and it's loading and processing, analyzing the tracks as usual. In this scenario I'm using Gruon Volume 1 from Edry Block and Paul Parsons. And let's see what is really happening on my Denon DJ unit because it's it's up and running. I already tested it with my laptop and it is working pretty well. But let's see what is available in my prime unit. So let's see <clears throat> what sources we have here. Oh, look what we have. Yoga is my laptop and my PC is... It looks it's available and I need to accept and look what we have here. The test playlist and this little computer icon is indicating that it is coming from the uh, another PC for example so it's not inside of this uh, uh, deck so let's see loading it to deck 1 and It's playing just like any regular track or from any uh, streaming sources. But how the cue points behaving? So I'm gonna make one single cue point in the beginning. SQ1. And just 
jumping somewhere. Making a Q point two. So we have two Q points and uh, look what we have. The Q, two Q points are looks immediately it appeared, but let's see if I'm creating something inside of this engine desktop. Would it be visible in the deck as well? Well, we will see. And yes. So it's working. And wh uh, what happens when I just rename this Q3 for something? Appears on my deck as well. So if I delete this queue, it disappears from the database what I have on, on my uh, laptop or desktop. So what is inside of the engine DJ can be uh, controlled from the deck uh, as well. And what we playing in the um, engine DJ, I mean on, on our decks, can be controlled from the engine desktop. So we can create the uh, cue points, we can uh, align the beat grids, and so on, because it's simply working and, uh, after all. We can change the key and then everything what we can do as a regular track and it's immediately reflecting to the track that we are either loaded or willing to load from this database because it will work like a streaming. So the track will be downloaded, the database will be used right from our system. Not inside of the deck, but from the mm, engine desktop. So I believe this is a really good uh, step forward from uh, Danon and Engine because uh, this is what we really wanted in, in the past so many years. Although it's not uh, uh, giving us ability to use uh, standard file shares, so we are not still not being able to use uh, any kind of uh, network attached devices. But uh, if we are carrying our laptop as a let's say a secondary uh, uh, unit, or we have two different. Uh, uh, um, devices like uh, Prime 2 or SC Live uh, 2 or 4 along with uh, uh, Prime Go or Mixstream Pro we can use only one single database because we can use every single of these units in the same way from the same source with the same database. So, after all, we don't need to uh, transfer all of our music from our system to our playing decks, to the external devices, and so on. So, this is a really, really huge addition that Engine DJ introduced. So, it's working back and forth. If you like this video, just Push the subscribe and the like button, leave your comment, 